Today, I'm going to show you guys how to become the worst real estate agent ever. All you got to do is listen to these tips, do exactly what I say, and you're for sure going to make zero dollars. Not, not heart, heart, magic finger, zero dollars. Number one on my list, don't take it serious. You know, so, so like a hobby, just have one foot in, one foot out. Just whenever they have a family member or a best friend or somebody who's very close to them is looking to sell their property. Well, during that time, that's when you become a realtor. The rest of the time, eh, that's a little bit too much work for me. Number two, let's just start tomorrow. Whatever it is, whatever we're going to decide to do, whether we're going to go out and get some leads, whether we're going to go out and try to find listings, let's start tomorrow. Whatever can be done today, it can also be done tomorrow and the next day and the next day because you know what? Life's complicated and I'm busy today. Next on the list, don't reply to text messages. Don't pick up phone calls and definitely do not reply to emails quickly because clients love that especially big money clients when you don't reply it just gives them a little warm feeling inside next up on the list don't plan your day just freestyle it let's see what happens no reason to make a list of clients that we need to follow up on closings that we need to check on potential leads let's just see what happens let's just ride the wave of the day and um we'll probably crash into zero dollars once again next up on the list let's act like we know everything everything about everything because of course we do it's so easy every single property is the exact same every condominium is the same every villa is the same every piece of land is the same so let's just pretend like we know it all let's focus on the small stuff as small as possible in fact let's focus all of our attention on a rental property working towards this tiny little commission because time is our number one asset so of course we should waste it tiny little bitty commissions when you're out networking, you're in the bar, you're in the, you're at the, some sort of a social gathering, any sort of an event, let's give our card out to as many people as we can. Because as soon as somebody gets a card, you know what they do? They're going to call you immediately. It's, it's a given. A hundred people out of a hundred will for sure call you if you give your card out. So just give that thing out like it's nothing. Don't worry about getting their contact information because trying to actually call them, that's silly. So just give out those old school cards like uh, like you're making it rain in the, you know what I mean, in the club. That for sure is gonna bring you some high-end clients. Next up, don't know your numbers. Don't know anything about the properties you're checking out. Don't know the square footage, don't know the HOA, don't know the, the neighbors, don't know if these properties have any issues we should be worrying about. Maybe these properties run out of water. Yeah, who cares? Maybe these, this property has a, another property that's going to be built in the front of it. Eh, who cares? You know what? Whoever buys the property, they can deal with that later. Our number one goal is to sell the property and make money now. We don't care about the future. We just want to get that money in our pocket now. And psh, who cares? And that's going to lead me right into my next one. Why follow up with customers? We don't need to follow up with them. Like I said, we're just going to take that money now. Eh and we're done. All we care about is closing the deal. We don't care about getting them the best price. We don't care about negotiating. We don't care about finding them the perfect property. We just want to sell them something, get that commission and forget about it. The rest of it, it'll be fine because reputation in this industry, it's not that important. Let's sell properties that we have zero clue as to what is going on. For example, maybe we grew up in a $200,000 house. Let's try to sell $10 million houses that we've never even stepped foot in and we know absolutely nothing about it. Instead of going to our neighbors, selling all the properties that we know every single detail about, let's just go way outside of our city. Let's go even four cities to the left, five cities to the right. Let's try to sell everywhere because who wants the specialist? Who wants somebody who that actually knows every single detail about a certain area or a certain property or a certain city? Instead of that, we're just gonna sell stuff everywhere. Next up, if you're out there, trying to get some leads or trying to sell a property, just take the first no. Somebody says no, we don't want to sell. Oh, all right. Well, I guess we, I tried. Or if somebody says, you know, gives you an offer, I'm sorry, it's, it's too low. We don't want to negotiate. We don't want to actually try to close this deal. We just, eh, well, we gave it our best shot, which takes me into 
My next point is, as long as you tried, that's fine. You don't need to actually succeed. As long as you just tried your absolute best, that's good enough. Your best is good enough. Actually succeeding, actually closing deals. I mean, come on, who cares about that? As long as you tried your best, that's good enough for me. Taking classes, reading books, and then let's take zero action. Let's not pick up any phones. Let's not knock on any doors. Let's not call any clients. Let's do absolutely nothing because, hey, it's about education. It's not about action. Next up, let's take advice from people that know absolutely nothing about real estate. Let's take advice from our team leader that's never sold a property in their life. Let's take advice from our uncle that also has never sold a property in his life. Let's take advice from everybody that has no idea what the hell they're doing. But we just got paid. And guess what? I ain't paying those referrals. Come on, man. They didn't do anything. All they did was give me a, a little name. All they did was put my name on a Facebook post. I did all the work. Why should I have to pay them a referral fee? That's ridiculous. I got all this money. I'm just going to come up with every excuse I can in my brain why I should not pay them. Guess what? Next time when it comes around, I'm sure they'll remember to refer me again. Let's find the partner in our life that hates when we work too much. God knows real estate is easy. It takes a couple hours a day. So you should have tons and tons of time to spend with your significant other. Lots of little cuddly time, movie time. And during that time, we'll just turn our phone off. We won't answer anybody's call. We'll just, you know, it's just about me. That's what being a shitty realtor is all about. We're not making any sales. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna blame everybody else because you know what? It's not our fault. The other guys, they're always, they're working too hard. It's my wife's fault. She won't let me work. She's always complaining. She doesn't want me to get out there. I don't know. It's just my boss, he's too hard on me. He never gives me any listings. It's just, man, it's everybody else's fault. <laughs> just when nothing ever goes your way, let's surround ourselves with a whole bunch of other people that think the exact same way. Let's surround ourselves with a bunch of other really crappy realtors that sell nothing that complain, that take zero accountability, and let's just surround ourselves with them because guess what? We're gonna feel better about ourselves because everybody's the same. We're all doing the same thing. It's a perfect little world. Let's tolerate mediocrity. Let's surround ourselves with all these other crappy people and let's just be okay with being okay because who wants to be number one? That takes a lot of work. I'm okay with just getting by. I'm okay with just getting my clients an okay deal. I'm okay with just having a decent open house. I'm okay with selling my property at a fair price because who wants to be the best? Who wants to break records? That's too much work for me. And here we go next on the list. Let's show up late to showings because clients love this. <laughs> Let's try to mimic and copy the other people that are nothing like us. Let's just make ourselves transform into somebody else because nobody will be able to spot a fake like that. Everybody loves when somebody's faking to be something else, right? And here we go into our next one. And this is do the exact same thing as everybody else. Why? Because then you'll be the exact same as them. And that's what we want, right? We want to just fit in and just be part of the herd. We don't want to do anything different. We don't want to think outside the box. We don't want to shake things up a little bit. Let's just fit right in nice and smooth. You know what I'm saying? About you. You make that money, boy. 